Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we are going to do a installation and review on Trailstar Audio rear speakers for our 2024 Turbo R. So we reached out to Trailstar Audio and they sent us a set of rear speakers. Comes with the speakers and the housing. Um, so we're gonna do a video for that. Um, they do have two sets, so you can get one that's already pre-wired, has everything, or you can get one that you have to buy the harness. Since our 2024 Polaris Razor Turbo R Ultimate already comes pre-wired in the back, so we didn't have to get the wire harness. So we should just be able to unbox them, install, and plug in, and it'll work perfectly fine. So. We got our box the other day, so we're going to open it up for you guys and show you the packaging and what these speakers look like. I believe they use power base speakers, so they're a little bit better than OEM they stated. Um, and they're a little bit smaller for the housing since there's not a lot of housing material for the speakers to sit in. So they don't have to use a speaker. Uh, spacer for it. So that's why they use power base. I've never heard, seen power base So we're gonna try these guys out and see what they look like So yeah, so if you're planning on getting the 2024 model um, even though you get the ultimate which is the higher model that you can because that one's the one that has the live shocks it comes pre-wired but not sure why they didn't put rear speakers in it so that's definitely an additional accessory you have to buy it does come with the front speakers already and the sub which is really nice but we like to have a little bit more sound so we're gonna install rear ones so upon opening the boxes, they gave us some cards, a magnetic koozie. So we got those. We got the brackets. So this is what the rear speakers are gonna look like. So it already comes with the plug, which will just plug into the piece that's already on the machine. Like I said, if you do not have it pre-wired, you will have to buy the wiring harness that comes with it. Um, so overall, it looks just a pretty hard plastic, um, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like other ones that we've seen online, but there's good reviews on Trailstar Autos audio so we're gonna try them out so we'll just take it and we'll show you kind of what it's gonna look like we'll just place it up there we got some screws that we have to take out to mount but. show you roughly what it will look like so they'll just roughly sit behind the seat like that. We'll just plug into there. Yeah, basically. Oh, and down like that. A little channel there for the wire. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if there's a glare or not. But there's a few mounting brackets, so we'll just take out the plastic piece that's down there where it would sit on top of. The only downfall to the rear speakers, if you needed to change your coolant or add coolant to your machine, we will have to take the speaker out since the port is underneath it. It's the only downfall so far that we noticed before getting speakers, but we're going to get this off and we'll get this all set up and we'll bring you guys back. Oh yeah, 
For so over. these speakers, they do, they trail start audio uh, sends directions, so it's pretty self-explanatory, very colored photos. Um, these are pretty much just how, how to mount this. Ours are a little bit different because it has the speakers in it. So it doesn't matter if the speakers come with it or not, it's still the same way to mount it. So pretty much is this the driver's side? That's the... Can't tell. Yeah, that's the driver's side, because that's the thing. So pretty much you're gonna take out these three screws right here, and then you're gonna take the mounting bracket and you're gonna install that to the bottom part. And then the top part of this mounting bracket gets installed to the speaker, just like so. And then you just plug in the speaker. So they do come with instructions, so that works. Um, so we're just going to get those screws undone, and we'll be back. So we we'll use this one bracket with the cutout for the, the bump out of the front of the speaker here that goes into this hole here and then this side has a, a, a screw hole which gets screwed into this screw hole here at the front of the speaker so you mount that bracket with the two Torx 40 bits in the top of the plastic and then put this speaker in place here and then there's a Torx 40 bit that goes into here to hold down the corner here of the speaker okay so we dry fitted the speaker back onto the bracket so once you first put it on it's gonna kind of feel like it's not sitting right so you kind of it's gonna get pushed forward a little bit so once you start putting the screws in it'll pull it forward. So first thing Sterling's doing, he's going to use that third torque 40 screw that was already on the machine. And it's going to screw into that hole that's down there, kind of pulling it forward. And then this little cutout will fit into there. And then there's a screw that goes over there, which will pull it forward some more. So we're going to get those mounted. Um, the screw that's over there that gets mounted, they do supply those. So we're good. I believe they're self-tapping screws. So we'll get this mounted and we'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so we got the two bolts mounted. So you got that bolt right there. It also comes with washers, so use the bigger there's two different washers they give you. Yeah, there's a small washer and a big one. You use the bigger one. So use the bigger one there. That part right here it's just a tab. is a tab, so it catches into this little groove. And then the other Torx 40. Torx 40 just goes there. So when you're screwing in this one, you do definitely have to pull it forward some so it sits better. But we got those two put in. So really the only thing we got to do now is hook up the plug, which is some place in here. Right here so there's the speaker plug and then it just mounts to the pre-wired part um, from factory the wire part actually has both parts so it has the part that you would plug into this so this piece is actually on top of the factory one so you got to take that part off it's almost like a dust guard really and then you take off that top piece and then you're just going to mount those two speaker parts together and so we're going to get these fished and laid out and we're going to mount them up we'll be back okay guys so we got that speaker done it's all mounted and it's plugged in so now we're going to get this side done so right now we're just taking out the screws <clears throat> and then we're going to do the exact same setup so we'll get these out bracket mounted, speaker mounted, and we'll get it plugged in. And we'll bring you back when it's installed. Okay guys, so we got both speakers now installed. Looks pretty nice. A lot better than not having speakers. We'll say probably one of the hardest parts was 
getting your hands in between this area. There's not a lot of room there to plug it into the wire. Um, but overall, pretty self-explanatory, not a bad install. So now we're gonna try out the sound and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a before and after sound check. So this is before the rear speakers are fully installed. So we're just gonna use music from the auto library on YouTube Studio. So let's try this out. So this is what it sounds like with just the front speakers. It's at let's go. three. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hope I'll be here for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I. Okay, so that was at 7. It goes up to, I believe, 10. So we're going to get the other ones installed and bring you back to see how all the speakers sound. Okay guys, so you just heard just the front speakers um, before the back ones were installed. So now that the back ones are installed, we'll see what it sounds like. Once again, we'll play the same song. It's off of YouTube Studio, the free auto library. So we'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> Right now it's currently at five. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hope I'll be here for a minute. I'm about to quit my. So that's with the machine off. Now we're going to turn the machine on so you can hear what it sounds like with the engine running. Okay, engine's running. Drop cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm going to stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. And this is just the beginning. I need a big change. How it feels like giving. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. So that's at four. Overall, it was a pretty decent installation. Um, as you see, a few screws, um, and then just plugging it in. So if it's already pre-wired, it's an easy installation. If it's not pre-wired, like I said, you'll have to buy a harness and then run it from the front of the machine to the back of the machine. So that's the installation. Hopefully you liked it. If you're looking at Trailstall Audio's rear speakers, that's how you install them. Like I said, they use power base speakers so far. They sound pretty decent. Um, so we'll see how they are on the trails. Um, go check out their website. They have multiple different tower speakers, regular speakers, they have lights, and then some other accessories. Um, so check them out. If you go, use code unmarked and get 10% discount when you're purchasing something. Uh, and as always, see you guys on the trail. Stay safe and see you later.